Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. For today's tech tip, I'm going to do a review of a service called CocoFax. Now, the backstory is I was reading an article the other day about this service called CocoFax that allows you to send faxes through your web browser. Um, and I didn't think anything of it until a couple of days later, I needed to send some documents through fax. So I figured I'll uh, sign up for the 30 day free trial and give it a go. Now, uh, the way that Coco fax works is, uh, you can send a fax, uh, digitally without having a fax machine, either through your computer. Um, and you can actually email to fax. So if we wanted to send a fax through a computer, essentially you'd sign up for an account, this is what your CocoFax uh, dashboard would look like. You would simply click on new fax, enter in a phone number, drag whatever documents you'd like to fax, and hit send, and it would give you a little um, status indicator. So I was reading about this, and I thought, that's pretty simple, and uh, I can sign up for the 30-day trial and uh, see how it goes. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. But the other thing that really caught my eye about CocoFax is that you can send a fax through Gmail. So after you set up an account, you can go to Gmail and create a new draft. And essentially you put the fax number before at cocofax.net with a subject. You can write a message and attach a bunch of stuff to that email and hit send. And it sends through CocoFax's servers to whoever's on the receiving end of that message. Um, and it looks like the format is, I haven't tried this yet, but it looks like the format is country code, fax number, and then at cocofax.net. So in our case, it would be one and then normal digits and then at cocofax.net. And you, were, you would send this and everything gets sent out through fax, which is great. So uh, I thought this was very interesting. I figured I would give it a try and the results were not as favorable as I hoped. So. Here is my CocoFax dashboard. I had set up a free CocoFax number with the Westchester area code, which is really nice. Um, by default, it just gives you a randomly generated uh, fax number based on whatever's available, but you can specify uh, what uh, area code you would you would like. So I, I kept it consistent and kept a 914 area code. The dashboard is very simple. Uh, if I receive any faxes to my number, they would show up in this inbox dashboard page. Um, I've got an outbox. We'll take a look at that in one second. Um, any starred messages would show up here. My sent box would show some sent faxes and notice that there's nothing showing up there and so on and so forth. And then you can create a contact list as well. Um, so I will say the interface, very, very simple. All I would need to do is send a fax is click new fax, put in a number. Um, I can add multiple recipients and then I can actually integrate with a number of different cloud storage services to attach things or simply attach them from my computer and send. So I thought this was great until I actually tried to send a fax. I tried to send this fax twice uh, to a New York State um, Department of Government <clears throat> and uh, I had 10 pages of PDFs attached. I tried to send it the first time and I checked back in a few minutes and I got this warning, receiving system is incompatible. So I tried it again and once again, receiving system is incompatible. So um, that's a little frustrating off the bat because you're supposed to be able to send a fax to anybody's fax machine with this service. And apparently the fax machines in this particular department are apparently incompatible. Now, I don't know, the fax machines could be off and that's what's giving this warning message. I have no idea. But what really ticked me off is that nowhere on my dashboard is there a button for support. There's no FAQ, there's no support blog, there's nothing like that. If I go to my profile, it just shows me my billing information and any connected apps. I see no information about how to get support. In fact, if we go to the main page and scroll down to the bottom, uh, there is an FAQ, which I did read, and it basically just gives me some simple information on how the service works, but there is no support page. Um, there's a contact us, I could send an email and that's all good and well, but you'd think there would be some support blog uh, to help me figure out what my issue is and there's nothing. So in summary, I think this service has the potential to be really great. And I'm sure under normal circumstances, if I was sending a fax to someone with a more modern fax machine, maybe it would work better. I have no idea. But the fact of the matter is, is I actually very badly need to send this fax. This is time sensitive. And now I have to put it in the mail because this won't work. And there's no support to help me figure out what's going on. I mean, in, in a perfect world, I should be able to click on this and, um, Instead, it just opens the fax. But what I should be able to do, let me go back here, is uh, 
click on this and get some links about how to resolve this problem and learn a little bit more about what's going on. So uh, CocoFax, a little work to be done here. This is my own experience, of course. If any of you out there have used this with great success, please let me know because I'd love to get another perspective. And I will continue to play with this and see if um, I have good success or uh, if I run into more issues like this. And um, truth be told, I'll probably cancel this at the end of the 30-day free trial because it's pretty rare that I need to send a fax. Uh, but at any rate, uh, give it a try. 30-day free trial. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, hit that subscribe button. I release new tech tips every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. And check out the DAE.com for a full list of online workshops, private lessons, and classes. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.